Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about material functions in Unreal 4. So sometimes in your master material, as you start to build out nodes, it would become more and more complex. And instead of having a big node graph, we can use material functions to condense everything down into one node. So the way that we can create a material function is by coming to our content browser, right-clicking, going up to materials and textures, and clicking on material function. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to open it up. And here it's going to look a lot like the other material graphs, but the main things that we'll have in here is the output or the input. And if you search for input, you'll find function input. So for the function input, we have an input name, a description, and an input type. So we can change it between many different data types. In the output, we have the output name and the description. You definitely have to have an output, but you don't need an input. And additionally, you can have more than one of each if you need to. Now if we come back to our master material, and we move this to the side, you can just drag your material function directly into the master material node graph. Now in my master material, I have a UV rotation node graph. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it into my material function. I'm gonna plug this directly into the output, but I also wanna add three inputs. I'm gonna switch these out for the three nodes that are on the end here. This first one is gonna be an input scalar, also known as a constant one. I'm going to give it a name. The second one is going to be a vector 2. And this third one is also going to be an input scalar. Now we could drag this in right now and it would be fine. But on each one of these input nodes, we can actually add default values. Where it says preview, this also means default value. So if we click on the input nodes, you'll see this checkbox for use preview value as default. So we're going to turn that on for each of them. And instead of using these parameters, we're going to use a constant 1, we're going to leave this one at 0, and we're going to leave this one at negative 0.5. And then we'll also plug in the texture coordinate. And we're going to save it. Now if we go back to our master material, drag this out of the way, bring the material function in, we should be able to plug this in directly to the UVs, and it should be fine. Now we just need to test out our parameters. So I'm actually going to delete all of this, and we're going to pull the degrees over, because all of our default values should work, and we just want to test out the degrees. So we'll plug that in, and we'll save again. And I'm going to take a look at my material instance that I made for the master material. Maximize this. And we're going to test out the degree rotation. It looks like I did forget to hook something up. We go back to the material function, and I did forget to hook this up. And while I'm in here, in this case, I don't want this parameter because it's actually the same thing. So plug that in, plug that in. I'll save the material function. Come back to the material, save that as well. Come back to the material instance. And if I rotate this, it should work just fine. Now just as another example, I have UV tiling and a UV offset in here. So I'm gonna turn this into a material function as well. Come back to the content browser after I've copied that. Go to materials and textures, material function, I'll name it. Let's drag this in now. I'll open it up, maximize, we're gonna paste it. We're gonna plug this into the output. And in this case, we want five inputs. These four are gonna be scalar. This one is gonna be a vector two. And for each of these, I'm gonna select each one I'm going to make sure I turn on use preview value as default. And I don't want to leave the parameters in here, so I'm going to create a constant one for each of these. For the default value, I'm going to leave these offsets as zero, and I'm going to leave the tiling as one. I'm going to delete these, and now I'm going to rename each of the inputs. And I'll save it, and I'll come back to my master material you see that each one of the inputs show up. Now the thing to note about this is you can rearrange these in any order that you want. So we come back to the material function, clicking on the input node, you can see sort priority. So I'm gonna set the texture cord to one, I'm gonna set the tiling X and Y to two, and the offset X and Y to three. And I'll hit save. If you come back, they're rearranged. Alright, that covers material functions in Unreal 4. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. 
Thanks, guys.